it's like I'm scratching my mic, making it so I'm, you know, putting some of that in there. And I'm gonna see how this sounds right now. Hey guys, Carl here. Today we're gonna be talking about our impending doom from AI and the fact that the machines are gonna take over very soon. But in all reality, there's this really cool new feature called Adobe Enhanced Audio. It's a, I don't know if I'd say plugin, it's a website right now. At some point, hopefully it'll be put into Premiere Pro and other softwares. But right now it's a website. The link is down in the description. And you import your audio to it and it gives you a perfect audio track back. Let me talk about this a little bit. Right now I'm recording on an FX6 and an A7S III that have no audio input to them right now, at all. So they're just scratch audio. I also have a Sennheiser mic into my Zoom H6 right here, recording me at the moment. And this is what you're listening to. But now I'm going to switch over to my FX6 scratch audio so you can hear how bad it is. It's five feet away from me. And now you're going to hear the FX6 with enhanced audio. Right now you're listening to the FX6 scratch audio enhanced in Adobe enhanced audio. Pretty crazy. Now we're going to switch over to my A7S 3 Same distance away, scratch audio. You can hear this right now out of the A7S 3 Now you're going to hear the enhanced audio come out of the A7S 3 through Adobe Enhanced Audio. How crazy does this sound to you? This is amazing that this feature exists and you can use this as long as you have an Adobe account for free. Um, pretty nuts. You're listening to A7S 3 Scratch Audio as it sounds almost out of my Sennheiser mic right here. And you can hear this right now. So the turn it off and on, you can see the differences. I'm gonna open up the Apple voice recorder app. I'm gonna record something in there. And then we're going to also take that audio and put it in here as well. All right, so we have Apple recordings up right now. We're gonna hit record like that. You can see it's recording. And I'm recording on my iPhone right now, as well as through my Sennheiser mic and scratch audio from an A7S III and FX6. You right now are going to be turned on to enhanced audio and we're gonna see how you sound. Hi, I'm Carl, today is whatever, and I'm recording on my iPhone right now, as well as through my Sennheiser mic and scratch audio from an A7S III and FX6. Doesn't sound bad, let's try to get a little bit further down here. So right now I'm recording on my iPhone from a little bit of a distance away, you can see I'm putting my arm out as far as I can. Um, let's, you know, let's snap a little bit and let's see if it cleans that audio up too. So this is me talking with a little bit of snapping and cut. So now that I've kind of blown your mind with how this audio sounds enhanced, let's talk about how I do this in my workflow for it and put all my cameras into Adobe and if they're synced up or whatever, if I'm using Tentacle or whatever I'm doing, I'll, I'll put them all in there, I'll sync everything up. I'll export the entire timeline's audio. I'll throw that audio into the Adobe Enhanced Audio website thing. I'll let it do its thing. I'll put it back in. And now I've got this beautiful audio track that goes with my video. And I can adjust that if I need to, if I want to add a little more bass to it, or if I want to take something out or drop something and put it back up again, or wh whatever I want to do, I can do that in post then. It's a game changer in my book. I can fix audio from past recordings if I want to. If I'm not shooting in 32-bit and I have somebody kind of put their head down and all of a sudden, you know, my levels spike in your ears, you're like, oh no, I've, I've just lost that audio. Well, now you can go back and fix that, you know, or let's say like you have some wrestling with the shirt over the microphone. It can get rid of all of that stuff. It's just insane. And I'll demonstrate that right now also. You know, if I have my mic right now and I'm touching it as I'm talking, let's see how this how this does. Like I'm scratching my mic, making it so I'm you know putting some of that in there, and I'm gonna see how this sounds right now. So you can kind of tell that I'm scratching my mic, and this is the audio from enhanced audio from Adobe, or an enhanced audio from Adobe. I'm talking right now way too much because I'm trying to to do this, but yeah. <laughs> How is this a game changer for the solo creator? Well, when you're running and gunning, going fast and trying to grab as much as you can, and you're grabbing interviews and areas and everything, and there's wind and you don't have time to set everything up perfectly, people 
want to get in and get out, whatever it is, you don't have to worry. And you still got to worry, but you don't have to worry all the way about your audio. You know, if you're shooting in 32-bit float, you already have a great opportunity to have really good audio. But let's say that there is some scratching or a little bit of wind noise or outside cars or whatever it is behind you. You can get rid of all of that and you don't have to worry about it when you're shooting, which is a game changer. As a solo creator, it's just a game changer. It, it just makes so much sense to be able to use a tool like this. And let's just hope again that they put this into the actual Adobe softwares like Adobe Premiere Pro. This would be so nice. Or as a plugin into like DaVinci, the Adobe Edition, like that'd be a great asset to Adobe Edition. And maybe it's in there. I haven't played with Edition in a little while. So maybe that's already a feature within Adobe Edition. I'll check and let you know right here if that is a feature or not. So to kind of wrap all this up into a bow and talk a little bit about AI, I think that if we don't embrace AI as creatives, we're falling behind. You can have this idea that, that AI is, you know, the impending doom of the creative mindset and, you know, creativity in general. It can also assist us so much in things we do. I, I am a person who's trying to embrace AI and use it in my day-to-day -day life when it comes to my creativity and my expediency in creating stuff. I think that when I turn on the cameras and I'm filming something, I'm connected to that. But then everything after that helps out a lot. If I don't have to worry about my audio so much because I have this new feature, then it's a net win for me. If I don't have to worry about my script writing because I can write a script a little faster with the help of AI, that's a net win for me because that means more time for me behind the camera. It's when behind the camera is taken away from me that I'll probably get a little more upset and a little bit more fearful uh, of this AI. But for now, using it in the facets that I've used it in, video or you know, photo editing, um, script writing, uh, graphic design, whatever it is that I've used it in so far, now audio, it's been helping me and it's been helping me be more productive and do things faster. And to me, I like that. Is it a little scary? Yeah, and I think we should be a little bit on the you know, careful side of how far we implement this into our lives, but I think that overall it can help us immensely as creatives if we need to get things done faster or just, you know, yeah, I guess faster or quicker in general. It just makes sense to me to use these tools that are being created for us instead of, you know, beating ourselves down and getting you know, spread thin because we can't get something done fast enough. So with that said, I hope you guys got something from this. Make sure to check out this awesome feature that Adobe has created, because I know you're going to use it for yourselves. If you have some audio that needs to be fixed, I've already used it multiple times now. And it just blows my mind every time I use this feature that Adobe has created for us. Adobe is doing some really cool things when it comes to AI and machine learning and, and what, what have you. And I think that it's just gonna be the way that it is in the future. So I might as well embrace it and get used to it and learn it because if you don't, you're gonna be left behind, really. Thanks for watching. Again, hopefully you guys got something from this. Hit that thumbs up button if you did. Subscribe if you haven't, if you want to, no pressure. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.